and I have a topic for Coffee Talk in relation to consent forms, oncology consent, and why it's so important that we uh, insist on consent forms, personal consent forms, on what the work's all about. But moreover, anybody who's had a cancer diagnosis has to have an oncology consent form to have the work done. So today's Coffee Talk um, has uh, been brought about because I was incredibly alarmed by a email that we got from a client up the country, not down here in Munster, who um, did not want to sign a consent form and she didn't want to ask her oncologist to have um, him to sign a consent form. And she found a practitioner who not only was not asking her for a consent form for herself, but was not urging her to have an oncology consent form done for chemotherapy. And I thought, okay, thanks very much for getting in touch, but really, why would you put yourself in danger in relation to that? Anyway, what practitioner would not have you sign a consent form? Because the consent form is a contract between you and the client. Mm, beggar's belief. And sadly, because it is an unregulated industry in Ireland, you end up with rogue artists who really don't care about you and happy to do the treatment without screening the client, checking to see if they're a suitable candidate, getting the consent form signed. And the consent form includes the screening and just doing the work, having no idea that they could actually put you in danger. Um, so therefore, this is why the oncologist, particularly here in Munster, trust myself and Nurse Ashling, because we are the only nurse practitioners who do this work, and they know that we will not put any of our clients in danger. What if your chemotherapy was delayed as a result of something happening as a result of having a treatment like microblade? Anyway, there, this topic needs to be broached back in the doll again to get the Department of Environmental Health to actually patrol and regulate this industry because those type of practitioners are giving the likes of myself and Nurse Ashling, who execute due diligence, a bad name. Um, and moreover, recently a practitioner in Dublin said, yeah, come along, we are, uh, we'll do your eyebrows before, during uh, chemotherapy. And the clients are thinking, oh, that's great. I don't have to wait for Olive's monthly clinic in Dublin. I can have this work done um, and not wait for Olive's monthly clinic um, or travel to West Cork to have the work done. And then realise, of course, that that practitioner does not have a uh, nursing degree whereby they can actually, clients can make a claim against Leia Healthcare or against a VHI or Rev.ie. So, um, oh, it's just do your research, folks, do your research. That was my topic for Coffee Talk. I was going to actually do it inside. But anyway, why would you put yourself in danger? Why would you have your eyebrows done without a consent form? That's backyard stuff. Why would you um, not have an oncologist permit you to have it done and just do it anyway? Younger women have to have <clears throat> egg retrieval from their ovaries and have no idea that, yeah, they'd have it done, then they decide that they're going to have their egg retrieval done and pigments that we've used could jeopardise their egg retrieval. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, it beggars belief um, because I looked at this email that day where it said, oh, thanks very much. I can't wait for you to come to your Dublin clinic. I'm not anxious to travel to West Cork, but I'm after finding somebody here in Dublin who doesn't want a consent form, doesn't need a consent form and doesn't need an oncology consent form. Like, 
Really? What? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself and your future chemotherapy or oncology treatments in danger? It beggars belief. It beggars belief. I actually looked at the email and I thought, okay, go you. Um, and I had a meeting with Nurse Ashling the other day, and the two of us had our were wide eyed, thinking, oh my God, this industry needs to be so regulated by a matter. In, like in urgency, it's so urgent. Um, anyway, right. So the moral of the story is, and I'll go into work now, is buyer beware. I had a client who came to me on Saturday and she said, oh my God, the amount of information that you gave before I arrived to have my work done. Um, she was currently undergoing chemotherapy. And she said she had already made inquiries to another facility. And it was the case, yeah, yeah, I can do you tomorrow. No patch test, no scre medical screening, no oncology request, no details on how she can make a claim. And she thought, oh my God, this is just like, her eyes were out on stocks thinking, this is dangerous. And that's from her as a consumer and a patient.